welcome to my kitchen. Today we're making stroganoff. Uh, the ingredients you're gonna need to make some stroganoff is some beef stew tips. You're gonna need some beef stroganoff packet, the seasoning, some sour cream, and some noodles. And whatever seasoning you like to season your meat with. All right, and first step, we're gonna rinse the meat off and we're gonna do none of that nasty stuff. So we're gonna throw it in the strainer. Is that stuff all good? And the big step of this whole process is to make sure to cut all this stuff down in smaller pieces. You want to, you want to cut it down so you're not chewing on meat for an hour and you're stroking off. That's probably the most important part. And we'll be right back as soon as we have all that cut up. Now that we have our meat all cut up, this is what, about what it should look like. We're going to throw this on the, the burner on medium high heat. Like a six, seven, or eight, however you guys are feeling. And then we're going to start getting this water boiling. I keep my water up real hot so we don't have to take too long boiling the noodles. throw this in the skillet as well and when I'm boiling the water I like to throw some salt in it because it causes a chemical reaction to where the water boils faster we don't like to waste our time and then after we throw the noodles in we're going to throw some just canola oil in it because the noodles won't stick together and we'll catch you guys as soon as we're got this meat browning and this water boiling now that our meat is browning a little bit, we're gonna throw some seasoning in it, get it all marinated up. We're gonna start with some accent, waste the food up. You heard it. Some garlic powder, because everybody loves garlic. Lemon pepper, because lemon pepper goes on everything. My auntie taught me that. And some onion powder and that is how you season some meat mix that all in man I wish you guys could smell it and it looks like a water bowl so we can throw it in our, our uh, extra broad egg white pasta Make it a mess. Push that all in. Tons of noodles because we like leftovers. The noodles don't stick together. And I'll get back to you guys when we're ready for sauce time. Let's go. Now that our meat is cooking up and we got all these juices going, we actually want to keep that, that juice in there and turn our heat down a little bit so we don't cook it all out and the meat will become more tender. So we're gonna we're gonna lower the heat just a little bit and let that simmer. And our, our noodles are about done. So we are going to hit the drain. Oh. Voila, look at that. Phenomenal. Best thing you can, you can do with this. I'm just gonna let them sit. You want to keep them in the pan because it keeps them all ooey gooey. You know, you want to make sure you remove them off heat because they're already going to keep cooking themselves. So removing it off when it's right before al dente is probably the perfect timing. Perfect. We'll be back when the sauce starts. Our meat's been sitting in and cooking in this water. Yeah, I think it's about tender. I sampled it. It definitely is tender. Uh, 
key to stroke it off in its iconic sauce flavor is to keep all that all that like meat broth in it so we go straight we ain't draining nothing doing nothing we're going straight for the packets so the packets call for actually we're going to turn on the turn on the heat just a little bit and drop our packets in This is the best part. Sauce is definitely the best part. Let's say no hamburger helper. This is that, that fait, filet mignon. All right, now we need two cups of water and two cups of sour cream. Extra sour cream won't hurt nobody. Actually, we're only going to do one because we have all that extra juice in there. This is the best part, folks. This is the best part. This is how you get that iconic beef stroganoff flavor. Right here, people. Should we mix in all that in real nice and smooth. You want to make sure you get all the packet mixed in well, all that good stuff. And you're going to turn it back on and let it simmer. Let that thicken up a little bit and voila, we'll be back with the final product. All right, for the final touches, our sauce is finally thickened up a little bit. So now it's time to mix the sauces and the noodles. Place a lid down, Just straight on top. It don't get much better than this. Don't get much better than this. You just mix, mix all that good stuff up. Hell yeah, so. Now that that's done, we are going to grab this, throw it in a bowl just like so. Throw a little Parmesan cheese on it. And voila, beef stroganoff. Till next time, you guys, appreciate you.